Oh, raised by the forge. There you go. A good fight deserves a good rest. What happened to catch? Cat attacked it. Fought the cat again. Oh boy. But to answer your question, yes, I will be going back there shortly. I think, um, Bezrin wanted to have a talk, but I don't see him around anymore, so probably not. He left the city, but he'll be back later, and he wants to talk to me, too, eventually. Okay. Well, then we can go out there. I do need to cut wood for Morden and Selma. Okay. Do you mind if I come with you? Not at all. Oh, you have a sad little face. It's okay. We'll wipe that down for you here. Shh. It's okay. You get too overzealous and you hurt yourself. <clears throat> Let's see. What else did they hit you? You probably know this wipe better than me. Face off a little bit. Oh, come on, Catch. You're making it very hard to clean you off. Um, Shriek. You want to do the sword sharpening sometime? Maybe later tonight. I'm about to leave town for a bit. Cleaned up. I lift it up a little bit and put this rag underneath there for okay. That way it's not laying in the dirt. There you go. Just rest there. Back in a second. Is it still freezing? Iron and charcoal. Uh, yeah. And, uh, it's, uh, well, it's the All right, after you. I, I know. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I just know what goes into it. Yeah. That's all. Next thing I'm gonna learn is how to do shopping, grinding. That will be your money. Maker. Rooms, yeah. Alright, let's go. God damn it, Vesrin. I'm gonna go take a quick look on the inside because I'm. You can crawl through the window, I believe you. Oh, Vesrin, do we have a little bit of time? Say, so, oh, sorry, what? Do we have a little bit of time? Um, I. Uh, Maybe like 30 minutes need. or something? Or, uh, okay. That'll be long? enough. That should be enough. Oh, you need 30 minutes. Um. Well, I was wondering if we have 30 minutes. I think it'd be it's getting cold. I can uh, How about I come back in 30 uh, minutes? Oh, cold? Yeah. I, got, I think that one attacked me up a little too yeah. bad last night, so I'm having trouble bending over. Okay. Today. We're taking a trip to the woodcutter's lodge, so we'll be back in 30 minutes. He was one, she was wondering if we had the time to do that or if you needed us now. My muscles and my calves. 
dies. Oh no, that's fine. Wow. No, Rick go ahead. was go ahead. doing this for three days straight. Shriek is a lot more eloquent with words than I am. Can shake you out. No, I want to come with a walk. Want to come with us Sorry. for a walk? No. Want to walk? Walk, um, walk, come. You want some? You want to help me commit? To be to be I might get wrapped up in work, no. so I think I'll see you out the gate. I'm you sure the thing. Wait for you to come back. Come in what? Tori gave you permission. No, she gave you permission to break in. Uh -huh. What does Vesna need you for? Pick up my. I have no idea. He's like, I have something good to tell you about, and. That's all I've heard of it. I really wish you'd stop leaving me in the dark. Is that what you got so close to me? No. Um, I think it has to do with the vision I saw yesterday. Uh, Agvir Tog runes, some sort of constructed dark tunnels. He mentioned a marble door. That's about all we talked about, so. <coughs> this is news Maybe it's to something me. to do with that. So we'll discuss it tonight. Mm. Yeah. Alright. We'll be back in a little while. Stay safe. Always. I'm gonna let God know we're both going out here then. <laughs> I just want to get out of the city for some fresh air, dude. <laughs> Skirt scram nose now. <clears throat> Very good. Squirt scram it is. <laughs> Not squirt scram. Skirt scram. Oh, silly me. You live most of your life kind of like in the woods, right? Actually, I've lived most of my life in the uh, Clan Dagfin encampment. Is that like Nortis? Uh, not even close. Um, you've been to the north, right? Yeah. Uh, you know the, the small villages and towns there? Yeah. It's like that, just slightly bigger. Huh. You are a shaman, right? That is correct. So you're, like, good with advice and stuff? Uh, I can be, at least for northern advice. I'm not so sure it'll hold up in the south, but I can give you my thoughts on things. What if I had a Bjorning friend? <clears throat> who was... meant to fill really big shoes in the clan and every day uh, it gets kind of closer to to that happening but my bjorning friend never feels ready and and the stress so is getting to him they... so you're saying they have they're either the son of a Jarl, or they are a house Karl of sorts. And they have their duties, but as each day goes past, the duties uh, pile up on them because they're not completing them? Or am I reading into that wrong? No, um... They... 
handling things fine, but it's a lot to shoulder, I guess. <sighs> and there's the ever-looming knowledge that they're going to be a, a, a house call or a, a, a whatever the other one was eventually but like they don't yeah. feel yeah they don't feel ready for that mm. if there's no one to teach them how to be a house carl or a jarl then the only way they can learn is by the experience itself you can't ever get any. Th you won't. Uh, how do I put this in common? You'll never be able to do everything correctly every single time. Failing is part of learning. So, sometimes you need to have the bravery to step in and fill the shoes, even though they're not. You're not ready to fill the shoes yet, in order to gain the experience you need to walk with them. I see. The anxiety of stepping into the shoes will always be there. It's like preparing for a battle. You know it's going to happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. But that still doesn't make you feel better about stepping into the shoes regardless. So it doesn't just go away eventually? Um, it does. Once you realize the shoes fit. Hmm. I'll, uh, let my friend know. I'm sure he'll be pleased to hear that. Of course. Thank you, Sif. It's very insightful. A very... Hmm. Another tip for your friend. A very big thing about being a leader is... And being a Jarl is being able to listen impartially. You can hear things and not get emotional about them. It allows you to think about your next decision. It allows you to plan, allows you to... Um... I guess plan your next move accordingly. Cooler heads prevail, yeah. However... However, emotion is good to have. Because for the most part, at least in the north, your gut feeling is what you should initially act on. Mm. Oftentimes you don't have room for failure or reconsideration. <clears throat> Interesting. That's just wisdom from, as the car guards would say, an old Bjorning bitch. Well, I appreciate the wisdom. Someone told me once that a wise man surrounds himself with even wiser people. Your mind and mental growth is a candle, and to deprive yourself of kindling is a disservice to yourself. So what about you? Another saying we have is if you're the... Ah, go ahead. So what about you? You, um... came down here on your... quest? I forgot what you called it. Yes, I'm on a... I'm on a quest from Bania. Um... With the most recent vision I have received from him, I think my quest is to unlock the power of the Hagvir Tog language again. There were runes. Either for myself or for all in the north. Like the yes, words of um, power? Sort of. Um, I had a vision. It was dark corridors, as if I was in an uh, underground, um, 
I guess. Like a basement of some sorts, but, uh... Bigger. Uh, it was dark, the feeling that I wasn't welcome there. I eventually found myself up against a wall. It was covered in Hagvirtog runes, uh, the uh, language of my people. It was asking me for something, though I can't remember what. And then my vision pulled away from myself, and I was seeing through the eyes of someone else, watching me, and I uttered a single word and came back to reality. Apparently I'd wandered into a field, but that's beside the point. Do you remember the word? Vezrin... No, I don't remember the word. The flash of light that woke me up happened at the same time. I talked to Vezrin about it, and he thinks it may have something to do with this, uh... Pale stone door. I think that's what, go what we're going to be talking about later. <sighs> I still don't have stairs built, so this is the best way up. <laughs> if you do uh, unlock those <laughs> runes of power or something, and you have a spare one laying around, I'd like to put one on my sword eventually. I think it might be different than dwarven runes. You know, I looked what? at you might Morden's be right. runes, and his seemed they seemed well, they were similar. I couldn't put my finger on the difference they had. These are just regular dwarven script, but might give you an idea. Uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. Ah, okay. So the the dwarves stole they these seemed... words of power and turned them into these runes. Then is that how that worked? Vesrin seemed to think there was a dialect divergence between the Bjornings and the dwarves a long time ago. I think it's both correct. They. They fought us over the runes of power and the words of power, and by discovering little tidbits about how they worked, were able to devise their own dialect of the power itself. I see. But that's just a theory. A language theory. Exactly. But Benny wouldn't have given me a sign if what I was looking for wasn't here, so... <sighs> oh, I didn't have my axe with me. I lied. I do have my axe with me. Can I ask me a question? <laughs> <laughs> so does Bania just talk to you using these visions, or does he ever, like, talk talk? I've never heard his voice before. I've only seen these visions bad feelings I'm sure he's watching but I don't think he wants to talk directly because it's my quest to understand and figure things out and if I can't do that myself what good am I as a shaman that's fair that's one of the uh, virtues self-reliance if I need the help of a god all the time what good am I anyway What do you think, Shriek? About? All this in general. 
all of what was quite vague. I haven't really had a chance. Hmm. I haven't really had a chance to know much about you, so I guess that's more of what I'm asking. Huh. <clears throat> Who are you in general? I, uh... <clears throat> was raised in Crocardus. My father left before I was born. My mother hated me for it. She blamed me for it. So she uh, despised me. Uh, one day she died and I had to turn to crime to survive. The people who I was with betrayed me. I ran away, did some terrible things for a while, wound up meeting everyone that you meet, that you know now. Met some people, lost some people. Here I am. So it sounds like you haven't exactly had the most easy of a life then, huh? You could say that. You're exactly where you need to be. I hope so. I know so. Every time you see a raven, or a crow, at least in our culture, that's one of the gods watching you at a pivotal moment in your life to see how you react. Maybe not every time, but some of the times. If you're still here, after all your hardship, you deserve to be here. Not only that, but if you can be... A kind and compassionate person after your hardship that shows your character. One of worth. Someone to be respected. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Just a lot to carry all the time, I guess. I understand. I may not understand southern traditions well. I understand people. I've been alive long enough to know that. If you need anything, all you have to do is ask me. That's kind and... of what I'm worried about, <laughs> if I'm honest. Why is that? I keep getting close to people, and they keep. going away and I'm scared to let down that armor I guess such is the curse of such a long-lived race yeah you see your friends wither away die leave all those things there's nothing you can do about it However, it's easy to become jaded to the world. I understand, I really do. If you'd never let people in, never get to experience the happiness of being with them. Mourn not the dead. Save your tears for those who never truly lived.
I don't fully understand what that means, After all, but it sounds wise. It means even though the dead are gone, they live again in your stories. Whereas the people that never truly lived never get to experience the happiness, the emotions, the successes, the failings that you do if you live a true life. True to yourself. The most important thing is being able to look back after it's all said and done and realize that you lived a life worth living. Yeah, it's just such a tiring existence right now, I guess. You know? <clears throat> Come here. I get it. There's nothing wrong with being tired. Give yourself. Surround yourself with the people. Who will put you on your shoulders when you are tired like you are now. There's no shame in having to be carried for a little bit. These people rely on me to be strong for them. If they saw me weak, everything crumbles, you know? Be strong when you have to be. Be tender when you can. <laughs> well, bathhouse worker, you're always free to come by if you need something. <laughs> need a moment. I've held many a uh, strong beyonding berserker is balled into my arms. I understand pain. I understand how hard it can be. Sometimes it's just enough to know that you're not alone. Thank you. Truly. This house is this house is yours as well, should you ever need it. Not here too much anymore, but if you ever need a place to get away. I may take you up on that actually. Good. I see why they made you shaman. <laughs> You're really good at this. I'm not as good as I'd like to be, but I try. It's about filling those boots and moving anyway, though, right? Exactly. You're learning. Sometimes you just gotta break them in, like new boots. Well, chin up. You can't see the sunshine and the stars twinkle if you're staring at the dirt. Well said. <sighs> I'd offer you a hand, you but some um, time? not nearly as strong. No, let's um <laughs> do what we need to do. Alright, I just need to load everything on the sled and we can start heading back. You got it.
Everything okay? Yeah, I just like the scenery. Yeah, me Reminds too. Reminds me of home in the summer. Warmer, but... Makes me a little homesick. I've never really had a home to be homesick from. I can't relate, unfortunately. Well, should you ever need one, mine is always yours. Thank you, Sif. here you nearly forget about all the fuckery shit that's going on it's so much more peaceful mm. the wind gentle breeze through the trees the rustling of leaves and nettle the dirt beneath your feet it's an escape from the harshness of brick of Nardis. Hmm. Precisely why I wanted to come out with you. Breath of fresh air. I'm glad you did. Me too. Have you ever, um, <clears throat> you know, done the bear thing? Hmm. Oh, many times. Huh. None recently. What's that like? Uh, what do you mean? What are you asking? Oh, I mean... What is it like to turn? Yeah, what does it feel like? Painful, I'd imagine. Um, not really. At least for me it isn't. Um, you can't really hear the bones snapping and twisting and your clothes ripping uh, over the sound of the drums. They're way too loud. Hmm. Uh, the drums are different for each person. For me, it's... I guess you could say it's more of like a constant tempo, as if someone was drumming to the beat of my heart. Mm. It fills your ears. You can't hear anything, save for the drums itself. Uh, your blood begins to feel like it's starting to boil. Uh, rage overtaking you. And then... It all sort of slips away. I couldn't really tell you what it's like to be uh, the bear, as I don't really remember. Hmm. It's sort of like how uh, Dredge says that everything goes dark for him and then he wakes up in a different place, usually with bodies surrounding him. Yeah. I think that it's was sort of like that. similar to how Yersa described it. I feel like you two would have gotten along. I hope to meet her someday. Perhaps my travels back to Hayloth will bring me into contact with her. I hope so. It's funny. Mm hmm? Bjornings tend to find other Bjornings regardless of the situation. 
It's like how Dredge and I are both in this little small town of Nonis. I think Drow are the opposite, surprisingly. Despite there being, you know, oh. three of us. They're, um... They tend to drive each other away? Traditionally solitary creatures. Not really have companions or anything like that. This might be crass of me to say, but with how you act, it seems as if you haven't grown up, grown up around the other drow, then. Do you want to hear a secret? Sure. I'm only half drow. Oh? Well. My father was a drow, the one that left. My mother human. I see. So, obviously, it didn't get much of a drow uh, <coughs> upbringing, much to the despise of other people of my race. Well, then your secret's safe with me. I appreciate that. Marcus? Uh, Everything okay? Beautiful. Marcus? Got a, Arthur? <laughs> yeah, sure. You got a bunch of people wanting orders. Like, Harry, he wants tools. Uh, understood. No. <laughs> Thanks for that. You guys... Oh, ah, okay. Yep. You beekeeping now? Yeah, we'll be seeing you I don't here. think there's anything on the road. Oh, good, Ponus. Good, good, good. Now, what'd you I say? I was out earlier, I didn't see it. Are you beekeeping now? <laughs> no, I'm helping with the API. I'll see you back in time. Sure. If you need me, I'm over uh, this. Gotta do API. Is he a queen who'll have more honey? I don't understand bees. I don't know what that is. I don't either. I just smile. Smile and nod, right? <laughs> um, but no, I I didn't really have those life lessons growing up, so I am not like any other male drow, apparently. You have honor. That's all I could ask for in a friend. I've been trying. I had to learn that one. Each time the pilgrim stops, he learns a new way to live life. Hmm. Pilgrim, hey. We're all pilgrims in the voyage of life. Wow, that's that's fucking deep. <laughs> I'm starting to sound a little bit like Marin. Not really so much die fighting. <laughs> but... She's an odd bull. I haven't spoken to her much. No. <sighs> well, thank you for the uh, accompanying me, Shriek. Thanks for the words of wisdom. Of course. They're free. <sighs> Apparently I need to swing by the shop and get some orders done. So I'll catch you later, yeah? Whenever Vezrin catches both of us. Well, well I'm going that <clears> way <throat> too, so we can say goodbyes there. Sounds good to me. How you doing, Sarah? Holding up okay? Mm, took a seat. Mm. Waited for you to come back. It was a nice break. Nice. I know my work's about to pick up soon. Uh, I'm back to the real harsh reality of Nautis. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know it's Jason. It doesn't sound like anyone I know. Uh, he said Daniel Leb. I don't know what Leb. I think he just forgot. I'm at the forge, Harry, when you need me. So Daniel something. Uh, Jason. Lily. This is probably the hardest way to have dragged the sledge, I'm sorry. That's fine, I go this way every now and then. <coughs> oh, that's a fucking rock. They are offering a substantial reward. Now they could only be sold out by people here. Uh, make sure the guards don't hear you. They're in cahoots with the guards they held at the farm. They're in cahoots with the guards they held at the farm to go away people. Right. Alright. Well, if you see him, tell him he needs to change his name. If anybody calls them out, they're gonna get... It's a little late for that. They probably have pictures. Morden! I you got your you got your eight wood. Excellent. <clears throat> get to, I'll get to work making that into charcoal and then making it into coal. coal get to Hi, I heard you need uh, tools. Perfect. <sighs> yes, I'd like to discuss a price about it though. Okay. Inside, I don't like to uh, reveal. Right, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Long beard. You're not going to ask me to save a priest again, are you? No. Other than a list of names given to me at the farm of uh, deserters. Deserters? The Leona's name was on that list. Of Araland? Aye. There was also Exta, Jensen. That shouldn't be right. He was meant to be an agent Apparently of Dorst. From a Godfrey. Oh. Yeah, I know the man. God, he's still kicking. They're offering 30 silver a head. <sighs> I can't do anything. She's not here anymore. I can't protect her. She went back. Oh, fuck, she went back. Maybe they'll be lenient if if my name if... is also on that list. But they haven't arrested you. Because I go by a different name. Ah. Well, that's smart. So you know any of the other people? I know Exta, mm. who is also wanted for oath breaking. Why do they care so much? Why, ch why chase these people into Ireland, uh, into Nortis? Because they can say that they're to blame for the loss. That's not true. Ireland, we expect. Good point. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to get with Ladia to one extra. But I don't know about Jensen. I've seen them around, but I have no idea where they operate out of. I heard they both work for the Sordillo company, though. It would probably be best to warn them. If I see them, I will. You should probably lay low. I've been laying low. Good. Not much more I can do. If I make myself too different, it would look suspicious. That's why I must go on with my days like nothing's happened. Fair enough. I've... Attempting to get armor after these orc issues, and if I'm going to need it, in case the either somebody figures out who I am and they come for me, I feel bad about it considering that I'm only gonna be able to pay him half. And it might take me a while to get the rest for him. Well, if you need armor, you need armor. Aye. That's why when they do come... Don't do anything foolish. I'll try not to. I can be quite dense sometimes, though. For her sake, if she ever comes back. That's harsh. That's real harsh of you. Hmm. Alright. Please stay out of trouble. I'll try. Do you... Sooner or later, our paths do come catching up to us. Yeah, you can say that again. Do you actually need tools, or is that just a cover? Cover. I see. You're one of the only ones I can trust. That and Venora. Hmm. Venora talks to Jensen occasionally. If you haven't already talked to her, maybe get a message. I haven't. If I see her, I will. I haven't seen them. Hmm. Hopefully they don't get caught. Hmm. Good luck. I suppose I will need it. We used to handle soft Feel things, not. You're here a little no. later, Daniela. Everything okay? I can just see the individual sheen yeah. on his hair. This it's a bit caught up in a couple things. Silky, what about you? You look all decked out. How many times? Oh, uh, I left the city to go with Sif for something. I just haven't taken it off yet. Oh, I thought maybe you were experimenting with like hotter temperatures in the forge, you know, extra protection. <laughs> no. How's the family? I don't know why you were looking at me. He wasn't talking to me. It's and going. Face is yeah. smooth as it's, a baby's uh, Kind of a three -way what about you? I feel like I could pack up all of my worldly possessions in those bags under your eyes. Um, I haven't been sleeping much. Stress, you know how it is. Listen, my eyes, I yeah, I do. At the moment, I do. So, I get yeah. that. 
people are always like, well, just try this, just try this, and that's yeah. not that simple. I get it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Do, am I, uh, am I no in your way? No. I didn't know if anybody uh, was hanging around earlier. Around so. No, no, no. He'll find cool. I will make sure that you have Soldiers him. are looking for them. Are you for deserters. Yeah. I, uh, your I friend much. in the really lovely blue dress, she's, she's really nice. Honest, oh, Sif? Yeah, she's great. Yeah. It's Very wise. You've got a lot of good people around you. I suppose I do. Deck collectors, pirates. Yeah, lucky when you are great. On. Must be Adelante's that sweetness that you hide from everybody, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. You know, if I had half the time to spend getting to the bottom of whatever your onion s fucking grape shell is, I could tell you you're probably not as sour as you let on. But girls gotta work. <laughs> grape onion. Grunion. 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 Uh, see, when, when, I, when you said that, all I thought of was Grundle. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Grundle? I'm, I'm a huge Grundle. Oh, a huge a Grundle. Grunion. A Grunion. That sounds like a creature. I'm gonna get out of this armor, I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, it's a purple creature from the Underdark called a Grunion. Be right back, chat. Holy fuck, it's only 11. <sighs> Where's Sharik? He went inside earlier. I see. <sighs> it is a talk I'd like to have with Sharik and Venora at least, as well. But Venora can't seem to stand being around me at the moment. <sighs> Well, I s <laughs> now I'll leave that surprise until everyone else comes in. Can't wait to see their faces. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'm going to go take a quick look and see if I can grab Sharik or something. I'll be right back. What the fuck is <laughs> happening? Right. Um, right, so uh, I don't know where Sharik is, uh, but um, I, I swear I saw him coming here. He's right there, and 
And literally that grunion thing that I was talking about, that was his idea, just, just so you know. Oh shit, there he is. See, there, there is the grunion himself. Yeah, I was in my room, so I was changing. Oh, home invader! No, not again. <laughs> we just got the house back to normal. A villain of notice strikes again. Alright. So, um, a few things and also a revelation. Um... I'll keep it quick for you, for the Robber Baron, so that you can expedite if you need to. Uh, the, the, the key notes, I've got them written down here, if you would believe it. So, let's see here, the key notes for the... A large meeting with the Robber Baron. <clears throat> These are the things I learned from him. Uh, right now... Well, it, I'll keep it to the important things. Uh, the Robber Baron is currently getting... Uh, the Imperials are getting closer to him. It might be a few days before they're in open conflict. Well, they are in open conflict right now. It might not be long before his hideout is found. Um, there was an elf in light armor spotted around their vicinity shortly after I had arrived. I assured him I had nothing to do with it. Um, and luckily, I had enough rapport then to not seem like a spy, but I think that the elves are somehow magically tracking me or something. I didn't see that I was being followed. Um, what? Magically tracking right. you to my house? No, no, no. no, no. Um, magically tracking me to the robber barons, but... Um, yes, I, I know, mean, and if they did... I am always around town. We'll have these anyway. meetings at your house next. Carry on. Sure, fine, but I doubt that it's that acute of a, you know, uh, tracking, because they weren't able to close in on the location. Uh, let's see. A mem is departing Nardis to entreat with the other dynasty for unknown reasons. I don't know if that's happening now or not. Well, the uh, the Salon dynasty are the ones... Are probably not. I see. Did you not well, see the them? Pecs, the the, the Pecs, I believe, have troops. arrived... According to Tordy, they have arrived to um, discuss that um, winery. Uh, apparently, the whole vineyard, the, the person that owns it, actually wants to give it to the Vapects now, or rather have it be under their rulership. I'm sure they're... According to Tordy, I told you that. Deal. Oh, she told me it also. I, I must have forgotten that you said that <laughs> Um, But um, they're likely to come here, realize how in shambles Nautis is, leave, and then devise some invasion strategy. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, the robber baron. <sighs> you remember those stone doors that Selma found? Yeah, what about it? He knows of these doors as well. And that's not all. Um, turns out he was a mercenary in his okay. youth, and he went to Murgatroyd and um, Moro Garath. And he knows the name Elysium. You're not talking and to him anymore. Use the archways. What the fuck are you on about? He was with a. He called him a wizard. Uh, some half elf with a beard <laughs> named Rainer or something. And he a activated wizard? an archway and they came out randomly in the middle of a mega draw during some uh, last second horrible. Moment in a tomb. Oh, no, 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 no! I know, I know, I know, I know. But listen. Why is he screaming now? He views uh, me as a sort of colleague. Um, he's agreed to let me read his notes of everything he's seen in Murgadron. No! Uh, and you, no! No! Listen, no. this can help us. No, so not it's again. Kazim, you were Kazim. there to find out what his intentions were. That's it. I know, but Tazim, <sighs> this isn't going to go away on its own. I need to find out something, or it's going to eat me alive. I don't. Then want to it die. shall eat you alive. The whole purpose is, and I mean, not that, you fool. Your, your curiosity. That man is a threat. <sighs> He's Listen, a threat to the Redards. 
Well, when he's dealt with, whatever he has, you'll have access to, won't you? No, because if anyone finds that stuff, they're either going to burn it or keep it for themselves. He's actually agreed to let me view it next time I come. Uh, he... He's also agreed that if things get too dire in the town with the food shortages, that he would help out. Why would you believe him? Because of, we've built rapport. We're, we're, I know him better. Uh, I'm he not just going there with a sack of a mind. Innocent people. Yeah, I agree. He killed innocent people. Who has? We, all of us. We. You were there too. Right. And what hand did I have in it? Because the only guilt I, I would have if you're going to lay on my shoulders in this conversation. Is I said, Fuck true? this country, I mean, let's do it. In anger, yes, you are correct, and I'm wrong for that. In anger, so that makes it fine then, because you were angry. This was weeks before, and I've never done anything of the sort, nor did I comprehend what was going to happen. Well, it's not the regime. same thing as being used by that man to do what happened there, but I'm not going to get into that. I've already put that behind me. What I'm talking about is you saying that you understand a man who already broke his oath to the family he serves, so we know he's not trustworthy, stole from them to fund his little escapade, and then took men, who I guarantee are not good men, over to this keep. That, by the way, is Radard Land, and is waging a war against the ruling family and its people. You can't trust him. I know he's not a good man, Tazim. But good men do not rule. Good men get taken advantage of. What he is, is a strong man. Sounds and like a strong tyrant to be. <sighs> Listen. Good to know what you think of me, then. He knows what he's doing is wrong. Uh, they're not that it's wrong, that it hurts people, and he's, he knows he has to carry that with him. And I can empathize with that. What he is trying to do is make sure that the people uh, have a future that isn't going to be cannibalized by the two warring brothers who are constantly trying to undermine each other. This man and is undermining the province more plan, than the brothers are! As far as our original plan of making sure that there's not an all-out war in the middle of the streets, him coming in quietly, extraditing the family from the keep... Why? That seems more than Would you believe that? Do you think the family's just gonna walk away? No, I don't. They would go to another dynasty, they would go to the capital and raise an army and come back! What makes you think that they would just let go I'm of what sure. is theirs? They're nobles! <sighs> I'm sure he's going to kill them. I'm sure he was lying to me on that. But these men that follow him, they don't follow him out of coin. They follow him out of loyalty. They follow him out of admiration. I've seen it myself. He's, he lets them visit their families. I men can be disillusioned. <sighs> you know that as well as I. So these corrupt gods that stayed behind, they're the loyal ones, they're the good guys. They're the ones that stay behind for the town. The ones that This has nothing to do coin. with those gods and everything to do with what you're talking about is in support of a man who has purposefully been destabilizing, uh, destabilizing this region by killing innocent people on a consistent basis, starving the, the people ones out that of supply. Take wealth out of the country, out of the province. Do you hear yourself? Do you think the people taking the carts are the culprits? Grady is a trade nation. No, There's always go things going in and out. He shouldn't be able to control that. It's tyrannical. And there's no way he would have to isolate himself in a place like this. Nobody it's also tyrannical to, to send people moving. out in the streets to try and murder a merchant in his own shop. Have we forgotten that? Someone in the keep wants to kill me. You're saying that like I disagree with you. So? The difference is we didn't put those people in charge. So? 
you would be putting this tyrant in charge. In exchange for great benefit to us. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Has your allegiance or expectation swayed because of what this man knows? No. In fact, I think it's... The one thing I was going to bring up as a detraction was I worry about and how invested he is in it. He believes that it is a marvel that it's something that can better our, his society at large. He wants to find an archway and use it to, to cross the sea. He's got this insane plan. But, well, it's not an insane plan. It's just an ideation. He thinks there's something beyond the sea, beyond the storms, beyond the monsters. Who gives a fuck I about don't... any of that? What I'm saying... I shouldn't have even brought this up. I should have known you that would laugh like this. That man is a cutthroat. He is murdering people. Killing them to so get what he wants. Redards. You don't know which Radard it is. You don't know who's at fault. You don't even know if it's the brothers. That's an assumption. But you do know that the robber baron is murdering people. An assumption that half of Valeno was executed by one of the baron's men? Or do rather by one of the baron's you orders? To the council? If it was that simple, it would have already been done by someone else. The point is, do you have proof that definitive that you could submit to someone to judge and feel sound of mind that you were telling the truth? I don't have a written ledger that says, I, Baron so-and-so, decree the You're execution. You semantic. There's, there is dozens of eyewitnesses and people that will decry it in the land of themselves. Then if that's the case, it looks like Kovaz is the innocent one. No. Because I suspect Kovaz is the one that was not only behind that, but behind my attempted murder, and then saving. Then a mem? A mem might not even be alive right now, for all we know. <laughs> I haven't seen him in the <laughs> week. <laughs> What do you mean, right? I don't understand. There's a chance that whatever the elves and Kovaz are doing, that they've somehow turned the tables. A mem no longer, this was weeks ago, he would no longer even meet in the keep. He was using the vineyard, taking his royal guards there. Only a few uh, must have been his most trusted ones. I was there, he yes. refused to take meetings in the key uh, so it turns out he wasn't getting letters he that he had, should be right? getting and ever since the ships have disappeared I have not since seen an M he might be alive still and just doing other things Again, there's this rumor that he's left to entreat with another dynasty, but that could just be something to cover up the fact that his brother has already taken care of him. And if he was... if he's been dead this entire no time, matter. then who sent those men to kill me? No matter what happens... Someone like the Robber Baron could not come to power. They cannot. They're, they're, they're putting on display... What they're willing to do to get what they want, Mirandel. They're, they're, they're putting it out there. I know. What do you think they would do if, if they thought you were a loose end? Or anyone that helped you? Uh, speaking from a perspective that I think you know just as well as I, when someone comes to power, and they have to do things of a particular nature to do so. They will do everything in their power to make sure no one ever knows what they did. Because if they did, it would illegitimize them or make them look bad. If a man like that is willing to kill innocent caravaneers or merchants to try and strangle out a province to get what he wants, which he will because he's unfortunately correct, 
What makes you think that he won't resort to the same thing and tell himself it's what he must do? He is his own judge, jury, and executioner. I'm the only one that he can talk to about these sort of things. He was gushing like a like a newborn child over their favorite hobby. It was like what I used to do. <sighs> you have right. me worried that you're not thinking straight. What I'm telling you is I'm putting all these on cards on the table. I think it's an option we should think about and further investigate. And if you can learn anything about maybe his motives or whatever on this shipment you're dropping off, look for some sort of hint or clue, then with this in mind, maybe you, maybe we can come to some better determination. But I don't think we should write it off completely. You might think it's a show, but what if it's sincere? I'm telling you now. Because of what he's already done, this is not something I would ever support. <laughs> you have to think about what he would do after he gets what he wants. And who do you think he's going to install in positions that he... People who will support him. That will give him what he... That will be yes do? men is a yes man kind of man what's he going to do to the people that are already here I say to the adults and the people who defy him entire life. how does a man get more than half of the existing garrisons of troops to follow him not on a whim on a simple coin they're willing to to, to put their families at risk for this cause that they believe in it's it's not a simple corrupt told you official. That men can be disillusioned. The boys are young. There is not a single you remember how things were for Gavis? Not a single noble that we knew respected him. They undermined him every single step they could, because he never had a chance to establish himself. His father died too soon. He did not have a chance. When the nobles don't believe in that who's supposed to be their monarch, or their baron, or their lord, or whatever it is, they will consider if it's smarter to support a more powerful party. And right now the Radards are cracking. The, the fissure between these brothers is ripping their house down to the ground. And I don't know what the Baroness is doing, but she would be our best hope, I feel. But no one can get so. through to her. Then do we try and put together the cracking eggshell that is the Radards and get ourselves probably burned in the process or at the bottom of everything again? Or do we try you to support that, a more like powerful that's not faction? going to happen with this Baron who's murdering people already! Y you see that, right? Tell me you do. I understand what he's doing. I know it's not good, uh -huh. It's beyond not good. It's murder. Think of the long-term harm that could do if that man got his way. Truly, think of it. <sighs> it's not so black and white, huh? Does he? I mean, what's what's to stop dead him people from? A pretty black and white. You know. He, I did then have a conversation I should be with executed. Well. You should cut my head so off right you, now. Just so you're caught up on this. I'm not and the king of Ireland. He... But if I was, <sighs> I might hold you accountable, yes. Just like anyone else. Okay, so as, you're not the um, ruler of this province either, are you? Not in the least. <laughs> but you're talking to me about helping a fucking thug get into power. He wasn't a thug, he was the Castilian of the family. Was! Before he stole their money, bribed their men, and left! And are now murdering people in this province while pretending to care about it! Y it's one or the other! It's so not both, Vezrin! I'm not here discussing the options with you, I'm telling you why one of these is not an option! So there's no alternative, just don't do it. My god, man, I'm just telling you that this robber baron who is killing people is not an option. 
One of the brothers of the Baroness must be. I know you're not serious. You cannot be. Not after everything we've been through. You cannot be. I'm going to continue to meet with him and see his notes. I'm not going to move forward with any ideas or plans. But I can't let this opportunity slip to learn valuable information. Something that might help this. And on another note, I think I might know how to seal away those rocks. Do you remember that pedestal we saw? Before I'd say something that I don't mean, I'm agitated. I will be back later. I'm going to need you. We move our shipment later. About an hour, not yet. Understood. Before you go, Sharik, I need that, um... Kazim, I need that rock. Sure. Are you sure it was a good idea to bring me in here? I'm just more confused no. than anyone else. You're in... Listen. I value your input, and like I said, your family. There is something that you said that I would like to hear more about. Alright. For the sake of my kingdom more than anything else. You mentioned that this robber baron, this mercenary, has been in Agmardrod. And Morgrath. What was he doing in Agmardrod? He wanted to discover about um, the lost civilization, like all those other mercenaries that go up there. And he actually found some things. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. Why not? People do it all the time. There's people that do it now. No. So he found something in the Agmardrod wastes, and you're saying that there is something there. There's things all over Agmardrod. There's things all over the world. Some cloth. Thank you. What he told me is he was in a ruin in Murgadrod, uh, Morgorath, and then this wizard he was with, uh, Rainer, or whatever his name was, it was his alias. He uh, managed to open one with some chanting and waving and with a, some sort of stone-like thing, he said, and then they came out a random place in Agmardrod. That's all. I'm going to go try and... Uh... Vezrin, you're dealing Seriously. with way more shit than I knew of. Welcome. Can I... Right. Yeah. This is going to need more than just this. Mm. This is going to take time to go through. Shurik, can I ask you to stay here what for is, a minute? What does the door have to do with this? And wait. The white slab doors that are somewhere in the province that lead underground. He's interested in finding out what's under there, too. And you're talking about, like, archways, like that, right? Oh, please tell me you didn't tell him about those doors. Please. He knew about them already. I mean, you were just... He knew about archways, he knew about those doors, he knew about, <sighs> um... The ruins he knew about Elysium. We need to talk about this more at length. With cooler heads. So that we can figure out what it is you, that you've learned so far. Sure. So now I'm going to try and take care of this thing. Hold up, Vez. This is... Oh, <sighs> 
You're going with me? Yep. You sure? Are you going? Yep. Before you leave then, will you mind standing outside for a minute, Visser, and I need to ask something of the lad here before I go any further with what I need to talk with you about? Mm. Is there still something There's no point I need to keeping talk to secrets. I'm not keeping secrets from you. I need advice I told before you I go any further. <clears throat> sure. Feels like... I'll leave my shop. new door is opened here. Huh. Blacksmith, huh? Right. You remember I told you about this? Hmm. No reason this happened. We chased a set of elves that owed a debt to Silvervane. Their debt was quite hefty, a gold piece. Where we found them last and where they fell is the problem. There was a marsh north of the Cross Keys in. There is trench lines built into it, fortifications that are old and ancient, that shouldn't be there, that are still standing. The orcs appear to have inhabited it, but what was worse... Do you remember what happened when we went into those caves? <sighs> you have to be a bit more specific. A feeling of dread. Have you ever felt such? Mm, I have. <clears throat> when we set foot into that place, there was a feeling of dread. Before we even set foot fl forward after these elves, which is why I'm asking you, if I, I bring this up to Veseran, should I or should I wait? Why because why bring it up with Vezrin? Right now, I am in no position to halt anything. What would you gain by bringing it up with Vezrin? I'm not skilled in this thing. I don't know anything about this stuff. In fact, the most I've ever seen was when we went down into that cave and what we went through. That and the thing that we met up on the fucking mountain and heal off. I was going to ask Veseran for his advice with this thing that I'd found. But now I am concerned that if I do, he may go running off on his own. Quite possible, yes. I wouldn't put it past him. The worst part is it's heading towards the same door. Somewhere north of the Cross Keys Tavern was where our Soma found himself coming back from. I don't know exactly where, but this marsh is eerily close to the northern side of the Cross Keys Inn. And it's quite extensive from what I can see. I wouldn't tell him at the moment. And the orcs appear to have free reign. They need to be checked. To answer your question, I wouldn't tell him just yet. Let's let things simmer a little bit and then, you know, figure it out. This is why I ask for advice, yeah. because this is a problem. I don't know what it is. I just know that the orcs are there. They were there in force, hence why my arm is currently lying limp at my side. Whatever is there had us feel dread the moment we set foot. I was going to say this to everyone before Veseran dropped that on yeah. us. And now I don't know what to do. We need to find a way of checking these orcs. They can't keep roaming around just doing whatever the fuck they want. <clears throat> They're getting bolder. Exactly. They attacked this caravan while it was on the road just north of the inn. And I mean literally just north. 
it was the orcs that led the caravan that we were chasing off-road, butchered the guards. Or at least I believe this one did it. There's no proof. We didn't see any tracks. But the, pa the elves were panicked. When we caught up to them, they were looking around as if in search of their assailants. When they went into the marsh, they were attacked by the orcs. I don't know what killed that caravan, but I fear it might be the orcs. They looked brutalized. All of them. Every body we came across. And Sounds the horse like itself orcs. was cleaved. Aye. But the fact is, we didn't see a single corpse. Okay, even if we... we took down... Even if we get a sense of six dread... Elves. Fuck. Even if we... This is why I wanted to speak to him. Yeah. Because if he went there and he felt something, which he's apparently described as him being able to feel, mm. then we know it's something worse than what I felt. Because all I felt was a lingering sense of dread. Okay, well, if you need him for this... And any of my company that was there felt it. If we need him for this, you do it in a small, controlled way and don't lead him up to it. Basically, tell him what's happening while you're on the way there, or something like that, if you need to go there. The thing still remains, though, even if you are sensing something there, even if it is revealed to be something there, past this sense of dread or something, the orcs are still there. They need to be checked before we can even act on it at all. Or, maybe we don't even want to check them. That's maybe we want them there to protect it, whatever it what is. I'm, what I'm fearing is that these orcs may have a purpose, whatever this thing is, whatever this arsh to... is, yeah. this might be where they're hiding. This might be where their boss is hiding. We need a big force to take that on. The best people we could ask about this would be... probably the last from the wood. The one <clears> that says she can speak to the wood. That's not a bad idea. Venora. We can try and find her and uh, get her to turn her eyes that way. First. If we get them to speak to them first, and then also bring it up to Viserin afterward, have the two of them make their decision, and go from there. Because I don't know what to do with it, but it needs checking. Good. That's smart. I like that idea. There is also something else. There is something else. Not far from here. One of the... Uh, the brewmaster informed me there is a dwarven shrine heading away of one of the roads on the way towards the Cross Keys Tavern. Where, I'm not entirely sure. It leads me to believe that my theory that there is something else here is more credible than I thought. Apparently there's an old battlefield not too far from here that With I, I need to look into. that you mentioned as being uh, dwarvish, right? More tactics used against elves, sieges, mm. trenches. Yeah. Most times when a battle is held amongst the Umge, they tend not to do the CG, well, the trenches, unless they're the Empire. Yeah. The Empire have been using them because they have, they have their night killers. The trenches also protect against elven arrow volleys to an extent. Breaks the sight line. Mm. And all you need to do is hold your shield up and you can keep yourself covered. Tends to be a dwarven strategy. That's why I want to look into this battlefield. There's clearly some history here, yes. There's something here we're not seeing. <sighs> okay. Well, we know how to act for now. We'll try and find Venora and uh, tell her if you don't Speak see her with before them. me. Bye. <laughs> Alright, that's a good plan. I'll see if I can find them. Good luck. I'm gonna see if I can catch a Vezrin before he breaks something. I have to train Krav Magradian. Well, you know Krav Magradian. What? I'm learning it from Miss Morin. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Siri. Like... Oh, I'm so late to train now. Sure. He 
he's he's not a tyrant. Oh, that's serious. Just... Yeah. Bez. I'm in. A little too serious. Oh god, we've done the thing. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, I'm in. Nope. I'm on in. <sighs> Still having the same conversation. Well, yeah, that was, uh, something. You understand why I have to keep meeting with him, right? We can't just let a lead like this go away. <sighs> I don't want him in power. Just... I... I mean, he can give us information, They're all going to sure. be murderers and... Psychopumps and... What are you going to do? Not? Take control of yourself, Vezrin? No, I'm not. <laughs> Just want this thing contained or gone or I don't even care about magic anymore, I just want it out. You don't care about magic anymore. No, I don't. I haven't since we left. Then what was not after what I had to do. What was the basement about? This. His squiggles that, uh, you can't really read. Just want it gone. Then, um, let's figure out a way to do it without summoning demon things, right? You know what you need? I knew what was going to happen. That magic man. What was his name? What? Well, th you said there there was a guy who like could open the things, right? I don't know where to find him. Besides, it was an alias. What was his name? What was his alias? Rainier. Rainier. I mean, I I do you know where he's from? No. Isn't there an institute? But if here? I asked the robber baron, maybe he would know. So the problem with the Institute like I, we've got the, is that if they catch wind of anything contacts. going on here, they're going to swoop in and they're going to take it all over and leave all of us Not out. Not necessarily in the cold. Yeah, that guy who sent me a message you. today, like, that was telling us all that information, Vezrin. I, I could write him and be like, what hey, have you heard about this one guy? The too many probing questions like that is dangerous. We'd have to talk in detail about to, to, exactly what to say. Yeah, sure, why not? I've already put out messages looking for curios from Morgrath. Uh, simply from a curio shop standpoint. That on its own is fine, but if we start throwing up names that might be attached to Morgoth, that might zero in the wrong people. Mm, um, that's the right person. In my experience, it's always the wrong person. But, um, what were you saying? I was saying something to you. Um, with the Institute, it's less about what's going on here, it's more about what's going on with you. They might, lab rat. they might fix it. Unless I have something to barter, something to exchange, I'll be a lab rat. Okay, how about, um... How about Venora? Why? Why what? Wait, are you suggesting that we would... Give them Venora? No, fuck no. God, no. Oh, you I've... scared the hell out of me. <laughs> no, I've moved I don't on. Know how much potions are gonna help? I've moved on from <laughs> the Institute. Venora's knowledge with right. potions and some books she has so... access to might be able to help somehow. Have you even had looked into Felix that? Felix made a soothing bomb. Um, something that. Covered the pain, and then Fulgrith did something to. I'm talking it. about other potions. Never mention that name. Fuck do you know. Don't mention those names. Um. Sorry. Say what? This is a. This is a. <sighs> do you? Well, can you give us a moment? Most of this mobile. is new to me. Just so you know, no, I, I'm staying right the fuck here. You. You know what's keeping more secrets from me? It's just. Like it, it's either like yeah, it, it's all or nothing. I choose nothing. It's fine. He, the more he knows, it's probably the safer for him. It's not about him. I trust Marco. I mean... 
Oh, uh, for privacy of another party, I suppose. It would be bad if they found out that you knew something when they didn't tell you. It's <sighs> such a bother, though. Plenty. I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later anyway, but, um... Okay. <sighs> Venora, right? She's... in tune with that sort of magic fuckery, okay? And on top of that, she has access to... readings of older people. Right. The one who helps where he is needed. Never fucking did a thing for me, though. Answers questions that she asks, though. Maybe she could ask him something. I'm just saying that's an avenue that you might be able to go down rather than experimenting in a basement, my friend. I told myself that I'd never be beholden to another person, another person with that kind of power, and if it means experimenting in my basement and potentially dying, then so be it. Beholding? No, you're not being beholden to anyone. So he just gives out questions for free. From what I've been told. And we can trust him, but we can't trust anyone else regarding any of this stuff. Somehow we can trust him blindly? He's led us this far. Fuck, we spent all of the first year of knowing each other following this person. Trying to find anything about them. So why take an interest in those of our friends who only live in the forest and not the rest of us? I, look, What's his angle? I'm what does he get out of it? Saying, there are avenues. All right. You can say that with such confidence. Hmm? I'm just scared for you. All right. Kyla, every night I go to bed, I'm terrified for me. Terrified for what I might accidentally bring upon everyone. Terrified that I might make the same mistakes. Terrified that this thing is going to eat me alive in my own bed. Then, rather than going at it alone and making mistakes, the point that I'm making is that there are assets available to you. I don't understand fucking any of it, but I, I know that more heads are smarter or whatever the fuck. Perhaps you're right, but... Venora can't even be around me without getting into a wheezing coughing fit anymore. Not since last night. I'll deliver messages night, between the two of you then. And what if Goldrick finds out that I've done this thing and then comes for me and... And then I'm whisked away, and then... What if you summon another well, three you know demons, the <laughs> and they stab you in your sleep? Or a myriad of other terrible things that could happen? Fine. If you want to hedge our bets with this entity, fine. I just don't want to see you tear yourself apart. Physically or otherwise. And I certainly don't want to fucking see you push Torty away anymore. I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to protect her.